I am. I just <clears throat> got my world ready. And what do you think of it? This is a fast time ship. First off, go inside and pick up whatever you want. Sun shakes are good or you can survive. Also, make sure you go to the watering hole area because that's where you're gonna you're gonna find the first basics of farming over there. I already have my own survival world, so I already know how farming works. <coughs> and there are lots of chests along the crash route, but I'm, I'm, I'm saving them for later. So. This is the best. Just, it's always the same at the starting tile. Starting tile is always the same. Oh, so the bots. I already know how to battle these things. It just takes three hits and explode or fall into parts. I don't really know, but circuit boards are useful. What's that green dot? Yay. Chemicals will be useful later on in the game. Mm. Now you need to hunt down this object here. Not like a massive like building block. Nope, it's a battery. Sorry for you can use it to use to grab stuff. Oh, yeah. Also, make sure you don't eliminate yourself, it does. <laughs> How to play. <laughs> I did learn how to play the game without using this thing. Cars, Logic? I can't Also, I just forgot to grab some water from the watering hole over here. One of them picks up objects, the other one places them down, okay? Mm. Once you put up a fire in your ship, you want to place the master battery. Now, the bots are ready, the bot is ready. Master batteries in the craft ball will wake up. These potatoes aren't for eating, they're used for the potatoes aren't used for can't eat the potatoes because they'll be useful in the spider gun, the spud shotgun and the spudling gun. So then save them, don't leave them. Also, make sure you grab a log book. First off, we'll need to grind some. And I'm not the best at finding. 
then I always remember to put the marker there. Wow, this is the best map, map ever. This is the best one ever. It's always the same tile, but one of them is just loot. That's weird. It's metal, yay. Uh, um, <clears throat> if you look at the lookbook at the craft ship, it says better keep the ship's coordinates handy. Maybe I can get back here later when I can make a space worthy again. What does that mean? I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means, but it might mean something valuable. Maybe I can rebuild the ship and fly to the planet again. Please let me make sure she can fly again. What was it? Oh, yeah. Blue trees? I never seen these before. Seen blue trees before. What's the bottom of that? This is where I need to go. Oh, should have brought some water with me, or then these hay bots will only be OP. Well then. You call. That was a bit risky getting up with that. Oh, I lost something. Hmm. At least there's a lot of stuff. But after we are right now. Oh, good metal. Will come in handy soon in the cars and the bots. The bots are evil, but if you see a, if you see the bots are evil, but if you see a bot with a blue eye, bots with blue eyes, that means then they can do crafting, cooking, refining, or or visual. The bots are everywhere. You cannot avoid these bots. What are they? Oh no, hey bots. These things are quite strong. When I first started this game, hey bots were a nightmare to me, but I know how to quickly refine metal without having thing to worry about bots. Just Going to lift and start refining them. <clears throat> this is where the metal comes into handy. These bots leave metal. That's what the bots are metal producing devices. The hay bots, their name is complete. It, it tells you what they do. They did. They worked in the hay field, but in the hay maze, do that, I struggled to find a hay maze because the only bot 
that can make it through the hay box. So you can like, farm the, my base there. Uh, then yeah, that means then the bot will have no trouble um hey bot will have no trouble getting in but the other bots will have to stay outside Always have your finger off, push the sort by default, Zach. Okay. You let your finger sit on it and then you it everything you don't want it to. Okay. I might not be able to publish the How do I get up there? I'm playing in single player, so I can't. Probably need a friend, and no one plays with me in Scrap Mechanic because no one has the game. It's getting night and dark. When I first started playing this game, I had one true fear of a farm bot. Ah, he scared me, a hey, bot. Did you hear that kind of like steam train sound? That sound annoying. I'm gonna name my ship to stay safe. First ever video on here in Scrap Mechanic. Well then, I forgot to. I forgot I was on push to talk. So then. There's no sound in that one, sorry. Uh, gonna have to grab some water. To, and probably chop down the resilient trees. The first ever car is the most important part of the game because it allows you to drive quicker than walking. Yep. Also, night time's a bit dark, so I think I may just spend the night in my ship. Of course, I can't sleep in the game because of the beds are only used for respawning. So then if I can respawn you in beds, that's good.
what day is it? Uh, it's day zero. <laughs> day zero is amazing. Because you get to wonder around in the beautiful, amazing ship. And randomly there's a barrier. Wait, what's up there? That's a suspension mug. What did I just see? On that little thingy. Is that a suspension mug I'm stuck? I'm stuck. What should I do? yourself I think I'm gonna have to leave the survival world and then look back in wait I think I'm just trying to fix it I'm trying to fix the bug I encountered Come on, bugs are the worst in gaming. Why is there a suspension mug and that's it that's another scrap mechanic you do it called scrap now. Oh then my must have been naive to get that this is amazing. Why is this bathroom so burnt and broke? Goodbye.